Hello. In this video, we will show you how to automate test complete test runs to include them into your automated build and development process. When you are developing and debugging your automated tests with test complete, it's easier to run them directly from the test complete IDE. As soon as your tests are ready, you may want to run them automatically with no human interaction whatsoever. You can, for example, schedule your tests to run at night. This will allow relocating of your company's computing resources more efficient, or you can have your tests run automatically right after your product build is over. This way, you'll have all your builds tested thoroughly. To automate test complete test runs, the first thing you need to do is specify a sequence of tests that your test complete project will run. You do it on the test items page of your project. If you wish to learn more about this, please see the running multiple test video. When the test sequence is ready, you can automate its run. To automate test runs, you can use the test complete command line or the session creator utility that comes with test complete. This way, you can run your test complete tests with any scheduling tool, for example, Windows Task Scheduler, or any CI system, for example, Jenkins, Bamboo, TeamCity, and many others. If you use Jenkins or Azure DevOps, it's even more convenient to use special plugins that Test Complete provides for them. Advanced users can also control test runs via COM or by using the Test Complete REST API. The easiest way to automate test runs is to use the Test Complete command line or session creator. Let's examine them a bit closer. The Test Complete command line enables you to configure and launch Test Complete, start test runs, and get the test results automatically. For example, this command launches test complete, runs the web store project, and exports the summary report to a JUnit style report. Session Creator is a utility shipped with test complete. It enables you to open an interactive user session and run test complete tests. For example, this command opens a user session under the specified account and then runs the web store project. Why does an interactive user session matter? Well, for the test engine to be able to interact with your tested application, perform mouse moves, clicks, hover actions, an interactive user session must be opened on the test workstation. Otherwise, the operating system will not draw the GUI and Test Complete will not be able to simulate user actions over it. Therefore, before you start your automated test runs, you must have an interactive session open. If you use the Test Complete command line to run tests, you will have to open the user session manually, for example, by logging into your test workstation. To open the session automatically, you use the session creator utility. If you use Jenkins, you can easily include your test complete tests into your automated builds with the test complete support plugin. The plugin adds the test complete test steps to Jenkins. The step enables you to open interactive sessions on your Jenkins nodes and run test complete tests on them. Do not disregard opening interactive user sessions. Having a session open is crucial for Test Complete to be able to interact with the application during the test run. After the test run is over, you can view results in a browser, or you can export test results to a JUnit style report and process the report as you find suitable. To learn more about extended support that Test Complete provides for Jenkins, please watch the dedicated video. You can find the link to it in the video description. Before we conclude our video, we would like to mention Test Execute. It's a lightweight test runner for Test Complete tests. You can use it to run your Test Complete tests on computers where Test Complete is not installed. Automating test runs with Test Execute is no different from automating them with Test Complete. You can use the Test Execute command line, the Session Creator utility, plugins for Jenkins and Azure DevOps, COM, and REST API, the same way you do with Test Complete. This concludes our overview of automating test complete test runs. Thank you for watching.